If you're tired of slacking on your dreams and goals and you're tired of seeing other people live the life that you want to live, this video is for you. This video is a part of a series on my channel called Level Up Lazies. This is for any woman who's tired of being lazy, she's tired of procrastinating on her dreams, and she's ready to take action. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my best tips on how to create a glow up plan that you can actually stick to. Sometimes we can get so caught up in our heads and dreams of the life we've always wanted to have. We can scroll on Instagram, on TikTok, and see all of these people literally living the life that we feel like we should have. And although I think it's a great thing that social media can show us that we're able to live that same life that they can live, I think that sometimes it can be really easy to slack and feel like it's just gonna happen on its own without us putting any real work into it. And if you're in this situation right now, I wanna let you know that I used to be the same exact way. I used to think, oh, this will just happen on its own. This will figure itself out. My life didn't start to get better or change until I took control of it. I'm gonna give you guys my favorite and best tips on how I took control of my life and how you can too. We're gonna be starting from the least important in the beginning to the most important tip to the end. So make sure you stay to the end to listen to my most important tip on how to create your dream life. start off by saying I hated yearly resolutions. Everybody would always make goals, I would even make goals, and I would never achieve them in the past. So I always felt like it was useless to make New Year's resolutions. Instead of just writing down your goals for the year, you want to make a detailed plan of how you're going to achieve them. Let's say this year you want to lose 60 pounds. Okay, we'll break it up between every single month. So there are 12 months in a year. How many pounds do you have to lose each month? You have to lose five pounds. Well, since you have to lose five pounds in one month, I want you to go ahead and Google search. How did other people do this? Find fitness bloggers, find YouTubers, TikTokers, any person that you can find that achieved losing five pounds in one month. I want you to write down every single tip that they give you, and I want you to make your own plan of how you're gonna achieve that. I think it's so important to always make a detailed plan of your goals. It's so easy to say you want to do this, you want to do that without having a detailed plan of how you can actually achieve this. This goes the same way with saving up money. If you want to save $10,000 this year, you need to figure out, okay, how much money do I have to save every single month? Since you get every single month, how much do you need to save every single week? Make a goal of every single week to look at how much money you need to save and start hustling. You have to hustle for your dreams. A lot of times we slack on things because we just don't know where to start. It's so easy to say you want to do this, you want to do that and have no knowledge of where to even begin. And that's the main reason why people don't follow through on things because they just have no idea what to do to get it. The next thing I want you to do, which also goes with the previous point, is to set monthly goals. So what I do is I use my day designer planner and I absolutely love this planner, you guys. I know you'll absolutely love it too. It will be linked down below in my description box. I just love how it's so detailed. I use it every single day and I showed my friend my planner the other day and she's like, oh my gosh, you're so organized. And I'm like, girl, like, I have goals that I would achieve. I have to be organized. I color code it. You can have fun with it. It has stickers, but basically what I want you guys to do is to set monthly goals for yourself. So even if you don't get this planner, I want you to open your planner. I want you to write down your goals for this month on the monthly calendar page. So what I do is the Sunday before the next month, I sit down, I write down all my goals for next month. I write it all down. And I think this is really helpful because I look at my planner every single day. I need to know what I'm doing that day. I need to know my goals for that month and how close I am to achieving it. So I want you guys to write down your monthly goals just so you can see it so you can stay on track. You don't need a planner for this. If you don't have a planner and you can't afford one right now, that is okay. Just write this down in your notebook or a piece of paper that you can look at every single day. You guys have to understand that achieving your goals isn't going to happen in one big leap. It happens with little steps every single day, every single week, and every single month. This also goes for doing daily to-do lists. I love my day designer planner because I can just flip the page and I can see 
you what I have to do that day. It has a section for every day and you can write down your goals for that day, what you want to achieve. And then you can also write down your top three goals of that day. I use this all the time. I love writing down what I have to do. And I love how they have top three things that you can achieve that day because let's say even though I don't achieve every single thing that I wrote down, at least I'm gonna do my top three things. That is the most important thing for me to accomplish for that day. If I don't do anything else, my top three is the most important and I can slack later. So I want you guys to definitely implement these tips and you will see how much further you'll grow towards your goals. Write down a morning routine that works perfectly for you. Even if you're not a morning bird, you could do it in the afternoon or whatever time you usually wake up. I like to wake up really early, so I just say morning bird, but you don't have to do this. I like to set a routine every day. I wake up at 7 a.m., I make breakfast, I go to the gym, write down the time slots of you doing all of these things, even if you wanna make a little section for yourself to even meditate before you start your day, to do yoga before you start your day. Try to give yourself options of different morning routines you can do, so you don't have to stick to one routine that you have to do all the time. You can mix it up whenever you feel like you're tired of doing the same thing or you can try something new. So I like to write down four or five different morning routines and I love to do this every single morning. It just keeps me on track. It keeps my brain flowing and everything like that. One thing I love to do in the morning is I love to take a nice shower right when I wake up. It just wakes me up really fast. I brush my teeth, I floss, I make breakfast, I eat, I do some yoga. It goes a long way when you have a good Good morning routine. It sets the tone of your entire day. Write down all the milestones you hit and I think that it's super important to give gratitude. A lot of times we can be running around, super busy, we just have so many things to do throughout the day that we forget the goals that we've achieved. I have a manifestation journal and I just have this journal just to write down everything that I'm grateful for and I think that it's so important to have this because sometimes things can feel a bit low. You're not having a good day, people are saying rude things to you and you're just not not feeling good about yourself. So it's important to have a journal to where you can just look back on all the things that you've achieved. I know there's this quote that says, don't forget how far you've come. And I think that that's absolutely perfect for this situation because I know a lot of times, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so stagnant. I feel like nothing is happening. And then I look back on who I used to be and I have literally dreamt of being here. Like I've tried to manifest this so many times. I remember crying because I always wanted to be in the place I am right now. And it's so crazy to say that out loud. I just never thought that this would happen. And I'm also super grateful for you guys for subscribing and supporting me that's why I'm saying you guys need to write down every single thing that you've achieved because it's so easy to forget and I don't want you guys to forget about any of your milestones any of the goals that you've achieved also you are not a machine it is okay to have down periods it's okay to not achieve anything for a while I think that we forget that we're not robots okay you can't be productive 24 7 you shouldn't be doing things 24 Four, seven working your butt off please relax for yourself and understand that glowing up and leveling up has lows and it has highs sometimes you forget to take care of yourself you know you get pregnant you gain a lot of weight it's hard to get that postpartum belly off of you or you get in a really toxic relationship and he drains everything out of you and you forget to take care of yourself and if you guys have been in a situation like this I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up just so other women can see that they're not alone every woman goes through things like this things happen and that's life that's completely normal every woman goes through that and I want to let you guys Guys know that that is okay if you're in that spot right now but you also need to understand that is the beauty of life we get to glow up level up multiple times in our lives we get to find ourselves again we change throughout time and we recreate who we are and I think that's so beautiful so I don't want you guys to feel discouraged if you feel like you've hit a low after you've hit a high that is completely normal and you are doing just fine girl 
important thing that you have to do is create a vision board. Do it, do it, do it. I've created a vision board for every single year and this is why I want you guys to do that. So basically Issa Rae posted a vision board on her IGTV before about all the things that she used to say that she wanted when she was younger before she blew up. And when I saw that video, I was so inspired. I am going to insert a clip so you guys can see everything that she's achieved. So seven years ago, December 2013, around this time, I made a vision board with uh, some of my company members at the time. And I had never made a vision board before, but I was like, fuck it, let me do it. And looking at it, I framed it and put it in my office because so much shit has happened. I made a work section, a personal section, and a miscellaneous section. In the work, on the work side, I knew I wanted to do something with HBO. Did that, baby. I knew I wanted to do global travel, did that, TV writer. There's a couple things that I have not done yet. There's an app that I'm working on. You'll find out soon. I wanted to do Netflix or uh, be on Netflix in some way. Shout out to Lovebirds with Kumail. I wanted to get my paper right. Um, <laughs> um, I wanted to go to Essence Music Festival did that i think i had already done that but did that 10 times over some of my best memories have been at essence i wanted to be on a cover of a magazine and had no idea that i was using the cover girl font here and ended up being a cover girl uh groupies guide to all-star weekend more on that later uh i wanted to do a film i've been in a couple of films i haven't written a film well, I've written a film. It hasn't been produced yet. Working on that. I wanted to be uh, uh, nominated for a Golden Globe or get one. I got nominated. Uh, Nina Simone. I wanted to play her at some point. No, I think I think Michaela Cole should do it. So I'm good. Color Creative. I wanted to start that, get that off the ground. Me and Denise did that. Shout out to Talitha. I don't know why I put Billboard on here. But this so this is why I think creating a vision board is so important. I like to do it before every single year. You can also do it throughout the year. You don't have to wait for the new year. You can do it whenever you feel like doing it. I have one for every single year and I have one for what I want to achieve in life in total. And I think that's super important to do because a lot of us are visual people. We got to print pictures. We got to put it down. We got to look at it. I like to get my pictures from Pinterest. So definitely search the web. Look at Pinterest girl get some aesthetics going on you can even make a little board on your Pinterest and keep putting pictures on there I also love the idea of making digital vision boards I remember making a digital vision board and I basically put it as the background of my desktop I have a vision board the background of my phone and this is just to remind myself of what I want and I want you guys to do that even if you don't have a physical vision board I do have a physical vision board but I also have a digital one so definitely do that write down every single thing that you've always wanted okay guys so that is it for this video i hope you left with some knowledge please give some girls some tips down below in the comments of what you do to get out of a rut and i'll see you guys in my next one bye